today I'm going to bring you another tutorial on how to upgrade your graphics uh, slash resolution in Zelda Breath of the Wild for Semi. Uh, you can apply this to any game, but I'm just going to show you how to do it for Breath of the Wild because that's the one everyone wants to play at the moment. Uh, so you just want to open up your Semi folder. It doesn't matter if it's the old version of 1.73.d or 1.7.4. Alright, so you just open that one up. Then you want to go into graphics packs. You want to right click, go into new folder and you want to call this breath of the world you can name this anything but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to name it breath of the world 4k so there it is then what we want to do is we want to find one of the preset um, graphics packs so for this the easy one to do is right at the top bayonetta 4k so this is 4k resolution click on this one and you what you want to do is just click on that copy go back Go into your new folder, Breath of the Wild 4K, and you just want to paste that one in there. Now you want to open this up. Here it is, but as you see, it's still for Bayonetta 2 and still has the title ID for Bayonetta. Right, so to change this, what we're going to do is we're going to close out of this one. We're going to go all the way back to your semi folder, and we're going to go on your log. And all you're going to do is you're going to delete this. Right, don't mind this doesn't have any effect, it will recreate itself when you next launch Semi and you're going to need this to get the title ID. So you're just going to double click on the Semi and you're going to open up the game you want it for. So we're doing Breath of the Wild and as you see I'm already in Breath of the Wild so I'll just open this one up and we're just going to wait for all the shaders to compile, just wait until you get to the main menu. And once that happens, you're just going to close out afterwards, okay? So once this is all compiled, just close out. I'll skip to that part. Alright, so once all the shaders are compiled and you've closed out of it, you want to open up Semio again. And now your log file should have been recreated just here. You want to open this one up. And scroll down, and here it is, title ID of your launch game. And all you want to be doing here is highlighting this. Right click, copy, minimize that one, and then you want to go back into your graphics packs, find the new folder you created, so Breath of the Wild 4K, open that up, open the rules up, and you just want to highlight all this, delete that, as that's for Bayonetta, and you just want to paste your new ID, just there, and you just want to change the name. So that's with Bayonetta 2. And we're going to call this Breath of the Wild. And you're done, guys. Just want to click Save. Close out of that one. And I'll just quickly show what it should look like within Semu and how to activate it. So once again, open up your Semu folder. Open up Semu. And Options and graphics packs and there you go breath of the wild 4k should just be here so untick that one and that's now active close out you want to then close out your semi and then relaunch it so relaunch your semi again load into zelda And I'll just skip into what it should look like inside the game. And as you can see guys, we're back in. And the graphics are a hell of a lot nicer. Let's get a close up thing. Let's see. Now obviously this is recorded in 1080p, so the YouTube compression will make it look not as nice as it is on my screen. But I'm going to show you just basically what you guys are probably playing on if you haven't done this before, which is the 720p native, which, trust me guys, looks horrific. <laughs> and I'll just show you the difference. So I'm just going to show you this part here. Just running through the grass. And then I'll be right back now with the 720p. And I'm back, guys. And this is, yeah, 700. This is the native resolution of 720p. As you can see, it's extremely washed out. Quite significantly pixelated. As you see, it's 
see it. It's very blurry and washed out. So this will be what you're playing on if you haven't changed your graphics back. Alright, so you can get a lot nicer than this. And I just want to say on the graphics backs, I showed you 4K. But you can change that manually. Now that you have the title ID and everything, you should go into there, open up the values, change it to 8K, 5K, 6K, whatever resolution you want. Obviously, you're going to have minimal returns for the amount of uh, intense GPU usage it's going to eat up, because obviously most people are going to be playing on a 1080p or 1440p screen, and a few of you out there might have a 4K, but there's nothing above that, so I would say just stick to like 5K max. Um, but honestly, I think 4Ks, you don't want to go any higher than that really. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Remember, if you really enjoyed the video, to thumbs up. And it'd be really appreciated if you subscribe to me. Uh, more Samu and Zelda content on the way. And thank you for all the four or five subscribers who subscribed to my last video. That's absolutely amazing. And you keep me motivated to keep doing this. So, cheers, guys.